Ninja on Easy Pay today. Not four, not five, but our maximum six. This is our Ninja four in one, and we're excited about this one because this becomes your skillet, your stovetop, your baker, your roaster, your steam roaster, your steam baker. It's a slow cooker. It does everything. We've got it for you today at six easy payments on your credit card of only twenty three thirty two. It is customer top rated. This gorgeous color you're looking at is called yellow, and a color we don't typically have in the Ninja. And when we do, it's always popular. With the machine, you're getting the carrying case. You're also getting your steam rack. You're also getting your brownie pan. And you're getting a cookbook. Bob, how many recipes in the book? 150. 150 recipes in the book, all uniquely designed for this cooker. How does this value shake down? I'm glad you asked because we've got it for you. This is going to be at retail a total of $196. So we've got it today at $139.92, and we have it for you on six easy payments of only $23.32. I will tell you real quickly, you saw the yellow. I'll also show you we have it for you in bright blue. This one's gonna fly, you guys. This is stainless steel. We don't often have stainless steel in this Ninja, and this is going to fly. And then finally, my final color is over by Bob Warden. And it's over by Bob Warden. It's the white. Hello, Bob. Hi, how are you doing? I'm great, buddy. And I'll tell you, we have fewer than 100 of the white left to go around. Oh. Okay, so you're searing a roast yeah, so we're using this, the stovetop with a skillet We're portion. using the stovetop high setting to sear the roast. We're browning it actually before we actually steam roast it. And we're going to actually make our gravy. Maybe you can help me and add the aromatics. To. So I'm going to add in some um, some rosemary and thyme and whole garlic cloves. Right. So peeled. we're using the beef stock now to do to, to serve two purposes. One, it's first going to become our steaming liquid, and then it's going to become our gravy as it reduces uh, during the cooking. And we'll show you how we we'll actually make the gravy again. So we're going to take this, which was on the stovetop setting. I'm going to come around, and we're going to turn it now to the oven setting, and we're going to choose 375, and we're going to choose one hour and five minutes, and an hour and five minutes, that will be steam roasted. Now, if that sounds impossible, remember, this is not a dry oven. This is a steam oven, and steam cooks much faster, and it's moisture. So the primary benefit we get is not just that it saves time, but the primary benefit is that it is now going to be much, much moister, much Ooh. juicier, because we've cooked it in a steam environment. It is just absolutely delicious. I mean, it's falling apart, it's and yet lovely. it's going to be moist. Look at that. Now we're going right, to take I'll work this. On this Bob. Oh, you're going to work on the gravy. Okay. All right. Go right ahead. Let me get in here and help you with this. What we're going to do is take the little stems of the herbs out, leaving the garlic cloves behind. What I like to do is take a big spoon and smash those garlic cloves down into the into the liquid. And then we're going to add a little slurry to this so that we can make a nice thick beef gravy, garlicky beef gravy. Now what I did, if you can look down side, is I turned this back to the skillet setting. So it's no longer heating from the sides. Remember, this cooker cooks from the bottom and all around the sides. The heat is everywhere or one place wherever you want it. It's always important to make your slurry separate from your hot liquid. If you take cornstarch and put it right into a hot liquid, it will clump. So put it in some cool water and stir it thoroughly and then put it into the hot liquid and you'll find that it blends beautifully. Now, we'll cover this and allow that gravy to come to a boil and it will thicken as it heats. And the best part is, you don't really, you know, many times people add gravy to meat because the meat sometimes is a little dry. In this case, it's kind of redundant because the meat is already super moist and then we're gonna add more great moisture to it with that very flavorful gravy. Okay, so the key thing is when you cook the outside of a normal prime rib to well done on the outside, it's dry. Mm. With the Ninja, because we're cooked in the steam oven, everything mm. is moist. So mm. even that well done piece that David is eating very nice. is very moist. Mm. Boy, is that good. A Sunday lunch right there. Mm. Hour and a five minutes. Let's take a look at a little animation here, Bob, because okay. this is really showing everybody at home what's happening inside the machine. Yes, because, because the, uh, the Ninja has controls so that it heats from the bottom. And when you want it to, then it also heats from the side or both. So it will, it will deep fry, it will act as a skillet, it will also act as a steam roaster, it will act as a slow cooker, all using whatever setting you need to get the job done. All right, I'm just giving this gravy a little stir, and then we're gonna come over and make a weeknight supper. So go ahead and put the lid back on this. I just wanna give it a nice stir. I didn't have a spoon handy, so I used my tongs. And we'll make our way over here. Now what if you could make a weeknight spaghetti and meatball supper and start with frozen meatballs, right. 
and dry pasta. Dry pasta. So one of the things we did in the cookbook that comes with this is we have over 40 meals that you can make in 30 minutes or less okay. using things right from your pantry. So in this case, we're going to use dry spaghetti. It could be any dry pasta. It could also be a frozen pasta like cavatelli or frozen sure, sure. raviolis. We're going to add a jarred sauce. Or it could be your homemade sauce if you like. And we're going to add the meatballs. I'm looking for your they meatballs. Are, our frozen meatballs. Okay. Hang on. They're here somewhere. Okay. I'm told they're here somewhere. Yeah, they are. Um, and what we're going to do... I'm, I'm having trouble with the meatballs. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is add water. This is what we worked on when we developed the recipe book, is we determined how much water do we have to add to dry spaghetti and frozen meatballs so that when it cooks for 30 minutes, it comes out absolutely perfect. So here's our frozen meatballs. David, that was good fetching. Well, I had some help. I can't, I can't say I did it all by myself. All right. So now we're going to set that to our oven setting. And we're going to go over here, and just 30 minutes later, look at this. Now, now remember, you see how that's bubbling? We can now turn this down to our buffet setting, our key And leave warm. it warm when the kids start coming in at different times from ball practice and dance rehearsal and all the other things that are going on. This is what makes the Ninja such a perfect household tool in the kitchen because everybody is coming home at different times of day. You want to be able to have a machine that will replace, in many instances, your oven. So this works out beautifully. That pasta has cooked beautifully on the bottom. Now you could stir this ahead of time in the pot, kind of pull the pasta from the bottom and fold it into the meatballs and sauce. This is but really oh, hot. David. Let's hit this with some um, cheese. Too. So from frozen meatball, dry pasta, any pasta you want to use. Now you don't have to just do it with meatballs. You can do it with chicken, turkey meatballs. You can mm -hmm. do it with turkey breast. You can I'm do it with break chicken. This open so chicken cool a bit. breast, pork cutlets. Use your favorite pasta sauce, your favorite pasta, and you have a 30-minute meal. Mm. Here we go. Mm. And the pasta should just be al dente. Now, the pasta is perfect. And what I love about this pasta also, Bob, is that it absorbs the flavor of the tomato sauce mm -hmm. because it was cooked from dry in the liquid in the steam environment. And then the meatballs are perfect. Well, they, they're really they, great. They absorb all that flavor, mm, too. They sure do. Hey, Bob. Yes. I want to remind everybody what, what uh, is included in the pack up, and then we're going to get over here and make chili. Now, here we go. You're getting the machine itself, four in one. We're also giving you a carrying case, so if you want to make a dish and take it with you, that's awesome. Then we've got your steam rack. We also have your brownie pan. You got 150 recipes in the cookbook that's included, and we've got a great value story. If you went out to retail, you would pay $196 for this identical pack up. This is your opportunity to pick it up today at $139.92, but let's make that more compelling, Bob. Let's put it on Easy Pay. Oh, Every item in the show today is on Easy Pay. This is on Six Pay, our maximum. We're very, very busy on the phone lines. Grab yours now while you can. What are we making here? Well, here we've made, uh, we're going to make chili. Now, it's very important if you're going to have a flavorful chili that you brown the meat, whether you're using hamburger or turkey or big chunks of beef, you want to brown it first. Now, I browned this, but it was a lot of fat, so I drained it off. Remember, the, the pot comes right out. You can drain it off. And then I'm going to add all of my other ingredients at one time, and we're going to use the slow cooker to cook this uh, chili very quickly. Now, we're using canned beans. I could cook this for eight hours using um, dried beans, and it would come out perfect. But we're in a hurry. We want to have chili faster. We just put everything in there, have our beans pre-cooked, and we'll have this in just 30 minutes. And that's what's amazing. These recipes, folks, are easy. They're delicious. They're family friendly. And they are all cooked in a machine that is not going to heat up your uh, home in these late days of summer. And will also be a godsend when we get back to our normal routine in the fall. Now let's go ahead and give this a quick stir. And let's see if Look you, at this hearty if you chili. Like this. this looks beautiful. And this was a meal you could come home and put together in about 10 minutes and have it on the table in 30. Again, we can use our buffet setting now to let people come home at any time and help themselves, serve themselves. Or you can use this during the football games that are coming up. People mm -hmm. can come help themselves to chili, to ribs, uh, whatever you want to serve. Isn't that beautiful? You've got a little uh, piping hot bowl of goodness right there, and it all comes together for you thanks to the Ninja cooked in here, can be kept warm in here, and then, of course, with that easy pay today, it makes all the sense in the world. Mr. Warden, it's a pleasure, sir. Nice to have you back. Nice to have you back. All right, thank you. Hey, let me tell you also, we would love for you to join my blog 